Okay, being a being a black folks and basically awesome huge planet and i.e. no it's not a silhouette of the sun because you can see the magnet negative magnetic mag couple isers the magneticism of I believe uh, Venus and yes look at how Venus has possibly got a secret to it possibly well it's doing some very unique illuminations in the dark of space to us and we have a love joy here and like Dutch's video did and I'm not sure if he w went up and seen this humongous uh, yes and it's not a silhouette of the Sun ladies and gentlemen because you can see the magneticism and it's been found before there's been plenty of people that say there's way more than one Sun if this is it's a dead Sun okay and yes humongous the meatball ladies and gentlemen okay and the good thing is see is it moving it's moving back towards the supergiants okay so hopefully that's just the rise and set of it that it moves forward and moves back because there's Venus folks that's Venus okay and it's even looks bigger because of the luminosity basically Venus is just about that big just this top little roundness that's Venus the luminosity luminosity of Venus that's been put off by the supergiants and the flaring of the Sun and that's Lovejoy as you see it seems to turn its tail around on the magneticism of this planet here okay and there's also another planet that has another magnetic magneticism that is dropping down right there and we got Mars over here okay there's Mars okay and then and this is all from today folks I mean the 22nd the 22nd to the 23rd okay and there's Lovejoy and I've got some stills that I'll show you too but you just have to watch this awesome humongous object move back towards the supergiants and the Sun okay now the Sun is uh, is humongous okay Jupiter's the only thing close to as big as it and it's not Jupiter folks okay and this thing is humongous and it's moving back towards the Sun and like I say and repeat and repeat and repeat watch the magneticism here of Venus doesn't break up okay and you still see that silhouette so it's behind it and yes it just rolling like a big beach ball and it is humongous because look below here is Mars you see how tiny now that's comparable what we would look like to the Sun but even we are smaller than that compared to the Sun okay and as you can see the Sun even if we just go with the whole flaring in which basically this flaring is from more than just the Sun it's from the supergiants and the Sun but if you just take in consideration the Sun being that big as you can see the flare of the Sun you can watch the flare I'll get up here so you can see that flare that comes out okay that flare okay so you can imagine the size of the Sun the Sun's probably something like what half the screen or something but check out how humongous that thing is and it's a dead Sun okay because if it was bright and sunshiny like the sun, it would be living, doing like that. And then the sun is getting its ass kicked and it's flaring that much because it's getting run into by objects in the supergiants. And the sun is in the supergiants. So there's Lovejoy getting its transitional fix in electrical energy because, and I'll show you uh, and Dutch has played, I don't know if I don't play very good, Dutch has played kind of choppy when I watched it. So I don't know if it's just feed. I know I got great DSL action up here, so it's not it. It's just a player. So I don't know if they're messing with it, not wanting you to see it. But I guarantee you that more than likely, they don't want you to see. So that's the action of Lovejoy. That's pretty much they changed the clocks on me. And then that's the action of that big bugger there. And i.e. the magneticism right there of Venus does not get broke up. Okay? It, it just fades when it twists a little bit. But it's still solid through the outside portion of that humongous object. So we know that there's objects in the supergiants that are 78 times the size of the sun. Is this one that's four times the size of the sun and it's dead? 
And there's a ton of objects like this that are in the supergiants, folks, that are dead, that are not suns anymore, okay? So check that big bugger out. And no, it's not a silhouette of the sun. If it was a silhouette of the sun, it'd be breaking up that Venus thing. So, humongous. And if all is wrong, then the sun is that damn big. Okay? And then the idea that all these objects that you're seeing up by the sun, if you want to go with that, at that being a silhouette of the sun, which I really doubt that it is, it's a silhouette of something, or it, if it is a silhouette of the sun, but if it's a silhouette of the sun, it's only going that far, and it's not breaking over on the magnetism of Venus. Okay? Because Venus stays solid. Its magnetism stays solid through that. I'm having trouble getting the deal here. Okay? So there was your Lovejoy action. Let me show you some pictures of this bugger. Okay? Because we got good freezing shots of Lovejoy. So right off the bat, we got this. And you can see Venus's magnetism is going straight through it and solid, not affecting it at all. And also these other planets here, not affecting it. So it is an actual planet there, folks, okay? It's not an, enum a numinale it's not an enumulation. An I've been having a couple of eyes this Christmas, okay? It's not a illumination of the sun because you see these planets here do not have it break it up, okay? So it's actually an object up there, folks. That massive movement I was showing you was actually an object. As you can see this here, it's not around the outside edge of it. It's just those planets are in front of it, and it's back there. If it was an, uh, a, if it was an illumination of the sun, it would not. It would be on the front side of these planets, and it's not. Those planets are on top of it, and it's back behind it. So this could be the meatball, ladies and gentlemen, i.e. the comment in the movie. Space Cowboys, okay? So, there is a humongous, and these are love joys. You see, we, so we go through here, and you get times as I pop through them, and you'll see this different action, because we have it up to the 23rd. And I do believe, if you watch the clock here as I was going through these, it's like up to the, like the 2300 hour of the 23rd. Okay? So, if I was the ones I previously, or here we go, there we go. I, yeah, I knew I had, had gotten it. So Lovejoy does some different action, and it does change its head around and start going out towards the supergiants and back that way towards behind Venus and so forth. In a different, because basically before the tail was going, and on Dutch's video he was showing you the idea that it does, and i.e. these with it broken up like that with that deal, it, sh it proves my theory of the triangulation, and basically the picture's the guy that found in Australia that was a triangulation. Okay, when they found the telescope, it was a triangulation, and you can see, I should be able to get to another shot here in a second of it, and you can see that gap there, and there's that humongous meatball, and it makes sense because that's dark space back there behind there, behind Mars and so forth and so on, uh, Neptune and Uranus, and that's the big meatball, hopefully we're all safe and that's what's going back. So either that or it's one of the big masses up in the supergiant. As you can see, the V the action there, you can't miss that. The big gap in the middle of Lovejoy. You see that gap right there? So I'll just keep going through these pictures, and then I'm going to show you the recent pictures of H1 through F H1A, H1-2A, 2B, and there you go. There's that big gap, so more than likely a triangulation, folks, and there's the flame behind it. So that's what Lovejoy really is, is it's more than just one, it's three. That's why we've seen all those different material shots are coming around, and you can go to the, uh, check it out. It's a V, folks, going through space, a comet V, okay? So if you go to, uh, that site that has a, the uh, grazers or whatever, NASA, and there I blew it up, and you can see the magnetism. So that humongous object is back there. There it is, way back there. This humongous object is way back. 
And then as you see, is it gets going fast again, I guess, or something. Or uh, actually that footage that I had was later, so yeah. It does a very unusual thing at that magnet mag at a magneticism of this star here this one here below when it gets a little bit a certain distance past it in the middle of the triangulation and blow this up I had to bring up another window for H1B to show you so you can see that and basically when you watch the movie that I, that I was just showing you that footage as it gets a certain distance into the V, somewhere in this V of, and as you can see the V pretty much because you can see the tail, then an idea of this back here that these there's two clusters back here on that side, one on that side, one on this side, and then the head is a V because it ends up breaking up and getting a hole and a gap in here as it goes through the magneticism of, we have Venus to the right, and then the idea you look up these stars, the next brightest one, the third brightest, I guess, up. You find this triangulation here currently, I guess, above Venus. And then work yourself to the left and find this bright star there. That's the one. That its magneticism is the one that ends up breaking that up. Because this magneticism line back here, light illumination, magneticism is what it pretty much is. It's what it puts off, just like Earth does. And that one there is way farther back than that star there. The star is closer. And that's the one that it basically broke up and put that hole that we've seen in the video in the footage earlier. Okay. So that's pretty much the shot from B there right now. Put it down to like 150 so you can see the whole shot. And there you go. Mars and so forth up there and the sun flaring over there. And IE deep dark space. And the idea of the shot that we got from this live footage here of the big bugger up there and yes folks humongous that object is okay okay humongous object and ie it's back behind all those stars and those clusters there okay more than likely the meatball our back door by neptune pluto and and uranus So humongous object, and there's that flare and that break up in the middle of Lovejoy. You let it play, and you can you can't miss that little break up and that hole in the middle of it. And the photos I showed you a little bit earlier that are frozen show that hole very good. And uh, basically, it's a triangulation out there. There was more than one, and I showed it in a couple videos back. So here's H2B currently. I'll move up slowly through this, and then I'll probably just go ahead and pull up the video that I had that Lovejoy being basically going into it. looked like more than one piece going into the sun. And no mention from NASA so far, but it's pretty much conf confirmation now of seeing all this. I mean, it's there. It's a triangular. And pretty much the end of it, seeing it H12A for a while, because it's probably going to disappear out of view here pretty soon, as you see Jupiter there. So... That was at that time. Okay. And like I say once again, folks, there we go. Oh, there's a big good cluster out there. Very interesting. But let me zoom in on that. There's Lovejoy zoomed in on, on that shot. And then we go up to the Earth. And then we've got that. All this, all this action. And look at that move in and out. This big circulation of stuff that been rotating around it. And let's, let's zoom in on it a little bit more. There's Earth and that other planets or planet humongous when you look at the size the idea that and it's got all those planets also around it and like I say the earth looks pretty big to us because it's the glow we put off that we get from the sun because of our atmosphere and then you got Jupiter so it's very interesting that we might have another inhabitable planet but the idea that we only get close to it when we get out this far in our stereo play in the sun as we are in an all-time closeness to the sun so humongous interesting object all this stuff right here folks and other stuff that you see as I pan out but there's Jupiter how humongous Jupiter is and we know that it's Jupiter is one of the biggest objects in space around us in the Milky Way here's H1B and then I'll try to hurry up and put that footage in of the video and there's Lovejoy down there and here I froze it and I think that's it right there if I hit play and yeah, there it is. It was right where I showed you, and it went right along. It's triangular. 
There's my video that it's in, folks, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, more and more.